This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the best all-in-one platform for creating a beautiful website and growing your business online. So we just arrived in Oaxaca, Mexico. We've been wanting to come here for quite some time um, because the food is supposed to be amazing. I hope so, this is what I heard. We have very little planned for this trip. Um, we just are kind of looking for good food. And I don't know about you, Ava, but I'm kind of hungry. I'm always hungry. <laughs> We've literally only just left our hotel and already we've stumbled upon a little slice of Southern Italy. These are the big, big, very big, big, big puppets. And usually a person is under these puppets and they start to dance in honor of, uh, I don't know, in Calabria, every, how do you say? Holidays, they dance uh, in the street uh, with the drum. So when you want to celebrate something, usually you call them and they dance for you. And so began a whirlwind afternoon of food discoveries. We started by venturing into the Mercado Benito Juarez. <laughs> I'm particularly interested in the pre-Columbian, very, very old food traditions that apparently are still here. I've been reading up a little bit on the food of Mesoamerica. Insects in the form of eggs, larvae, and adults were widely consumed. These are called cha cha chapulines, chapulinas, chapulines. And as you can see, they are uh, bugs. They look. It's a bug. I like it. I didn't think that my first food here would be bugs, but when in Oaxaca, it's not bad. I can see cooking with these being kind of like how you cook with anchovies, because they kind of just got like a salty kind of umami flavor. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Maize could be consumed not only as tortillas and tamales, but also in liquid form as a maize gruel called atoli. Another kind of maize drink called pozzoli was made from slightly fermented maize dough. Oh wow, interesting. It's got kind of a kind of a sour funk to it. Really good. Very really interesting. I know. It's actually kind of challenging to figure out where we're gonna eat dinner because there's just nothing but good food surrounding us. I think though that we've found a promising looking restaurant where we should be able to get some good mole. Much of the diet of ordinary citizens consisted of tortillas dipped in a mole or sauce made of chilies ground with water. This is made with pumpkin seeds. I don't, I, I don't know how to describe. It's like it's, there isn't a taste that I had before. So. dark and chocolatey. I think this is one of the ones that has chocolate in it. Words are gonna fail us a lot on this trip, aren't they? 
That meal honestly reminded me of the very first time I visited Calabria with Ava. It's like when you go to a place and you eat a food, like, you know, I've eaten how much Mexican food in my life, so much. Just like Italian food. You think that you know this food, you think you understand the cuisine, and then you go there and it's just like flavors that you just never would have expected. I've set a very, very high bar for this trip. How do you say tomorrow in Spanish? Mañana. We'll check in with you guys mañana. Buongiorno. Or, Buongiorno, buenos buenos dias. Dias. <laughs> we are on the lookout for what is the, uh, I guess, kind of the breakfast beverage here, which is hot chocolate. Although first, I think we need our own breakfast beverage to start. Ava was not impressed by the coffee, but it had caffeine in it, so I couldn't care less. Much better. Chocolate drinks were generally reserved for the elite and the wealthy, for the bean was expensive. In fact, they used to use cocoa beans for money. Chocolate could be prepared in a variety of ways with an array of flavors such as chili pepper, vanilla, and other spices. Tastes like a chocolate sweet taste with the flavor of cinnamon because it's just chocolate and cinnamon. It's much more watery than I was expecting. There's no milk in it, it's just water and chocolate. It's really good, but it's different from kind of our thicker, heavier dairy hot chocolate. Not that this could substitute my normal coffee, but this is a pretty good way to start the morning. That being said, I think there's something across the street that is uh, calling my nose, so to speak. Literally. We could smell these goodies from several blocks away, so we made an unplanned churro stop. They were finger licking good. I think next we're gonna head to a market that I know you really wanna go to. I don't know very much about it, but I'm in. This was the Central de Abastos de Oaxaca market where we were surprised to find a lot more bread than we expected in a corn-based culture. What do they do with all this bread? I never saw so much bread in my life. So we seem to have entered what I can only describe as meat heaven. Really excited, so you just pick the meat that you want. We got some beef and some pork sausage, and then they just grill it for you right there. If I lived here, I think I would come here every day. These resemble the Calabrian sausages. Mamma mia. Well, that was a pretty amazing meal. Not least of all because it was super simple. Just really incredible meat on really incredible tortillas. That's it. No way. Forget. So we keep seeing quite a bit of pizza around. And even though Domino's doesn't really sound very appealing, apparently there is a Oaxacan pizza. See what they call Oaxacan pizza. It's, it's like pizza. pizza. It's like pizza. It's not, it's not pizza. It's the closest thing they might have to pizza. So we got here a little early and I'm glad we did because uh, 
the line is starting to form as they're setting up. So we are going to eat this La Yuda. It's a flat bread with some beans, cheese, fat, as well they call Ohagan pizza. How do I even begin to describe that meal to someone? Oh, I went to Mexico. I had the most incredible meal. Really? What was it? It was a tortilla with beans and cheese. Pizza is a stretch. It's not pizza. But what it is, is remarkable. We got there as soon as it opened, and just this crowd came out of nowhere, and you had to take a ticket, you had to get a number. We were number five, we were very lucky. And everyone there, just this horde of people all waiting to share this food. Families and babies and mothers and daughters and fathers and sons. Anyway, really amazing day, but we're gonna get some sleep. We have a big day tomorrow, and it's gonna be really fun because Ava chose everything we did today. Tomorrow, I'm choosing what we do. You excited? I'm very excited. I'm excited. So we're here above the ruins of Monte Alban, is the center of the Zapotec civilization. Interestingly, the name comes from uh, the name of a mountain uh, near Rome. It seems to be a mystery why it came to be named Monte Alban, but weird connection to Italy. Our visit to the ruins got us curious about the modern Zapotec people, particularly about their food. So we met up with someone who could teach us more. Hi, Harper. nice to meet you. Okay. Hi, nice, nice to meet you. Meet you. My, my taxi, my car is over there. Soon we were on our way to, well, to be honest, we had no idea where we were going until we arrived at a village called San Dionisio Ocotepec. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. My apologies. Hi, I am Cesar. I love, I love my culture. This town is one of the town uh, it's uh, preserved the language, the culture, the everything, like the Zapotec people. Yeah, I, lo I love to show people my, uh, yeah, my food. We started by learning what people do with all that bread we saw in the market. They dip it into their hot chocolate. This is uh, the Mexican Zapotec cappuccino. <laughs> Okay, this is better than a cappuccino. <laughs> <laughs> Next, Ava began learning the process of making maize tortillas, starting, of course, with the corn. How do you call Minerva. Minerva. Yes. <laughs> Minerva. See? Eva. 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 Ah, bueno. Ah. All three of them made it look really easy to strip the corn. Hey, yo. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Next, Minerva boiled the corn in water and lye. Normally it would have to sit overnight, but luckily she had some corn already cooked for us. It's a very good corn. We took the corn on a short stroll through town to a public corn mill, which anyone from the village can use. Right now, guys, I discovered that the tortillas here, they taste much, much better because they are not made out of the corn flour. But they just ground the, the corn, and from the paste, the masa that comes out from the meal, they do the tortillas. Eva helped Cesar prepare the cheese, but to be honest, I think she was much more interested in what Minerva was doing. I'm learning. It is not sticky. Mm -hmm. 
Minerva made us quesadillas with Oaxacan cheese and an herb called epazote. They were cooked on an incredible clay stove called a comal. Very hot. Thank you. The tradition here is people say, oh, I, I will drink a little mezcal before to eat. Right. I like this tradition. I like this tradition. <laughs> Jesus, Alba, this is too good. Ooh. Wow, that's good. Ooh. Minerva roja or verde? Verde. Verde. Uh, how do you say it? you are a genius? Uh, genio? Si. Tu eres un genio. <laughs> Bravissima, master. master. She, she, needs, she needs to Listo. participate in a master chef. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing, guys. I can describe how good is this. With the salsa verde, it is uh, sli sli slightly spicy and the cheese. Well, that was an incredible day here. I think you and I can both agree that this is the most fun we've had on the trip so far. Absolutely, yes. We had a great time, we ate a great food. We'll put a link down below to how you can get in touch with Cesar if you come to Oaxaca and want to come see this place. You need to you come, need to come. see this place. <laughs> Before we left, Ava answered some questions about how Italians make their salsa. Con ese tomate, mm -hmm. con ese tomate. Nosotros no tenemos tomate. Oh, ah, sí, sí, sí. No tenemos tomate. Solo so. rojo. Oh, adiós. 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 Sadly, it is our last evening here in Oaxaca. We're about to go get our last dinner here, but first, we need to come clean about something. There's a bunch of food that we sampled while we were here that we're probably not going to show you guys. I'm talking about the food we've eaten at restaurants. Oaxaca has a ton of restaurants where chefs are doing really innovative, creative things with traditional Oaxacan food. We've been to a ton of them and don't get me wrong, the food was all really, really good. Everything tasted amazing, we haven't had a bad meal yet. But it's also been really forgettable. Frankly, I've already forgotten where I went and got, it was some kind of like fried plantain chips and like banana foam. I remember it tasting good, but I can't even remember which restaurant it was at. Meanwhile, I don't think either of us will ever forget sitting on a street corner, waiting with a numbered ticket with a whole bunch of families just to get a tortilla with beans. It tasted better than the banana custard, by the way. There is, however, one notable exception. One restaurant with, in particular, a certain dish, it was unforgettable, and it was so good that on our last night here, we're gonna go back there, and we wanna show it to you. Do you have a dish? Yeah, you ready? <laughs> Sure you don't want a pizza? No, I did. I can say no to a pizza to me. Before we show you our final meal, a quick word from today's video sponsor, Squarespace. Making a website can seem really intimidating. It feels like you need to have a bunch of special knowledge to do it. Do I need to know HTML? Squarespace makes it ridiculously easy. You can design everything from scratch, but what I love is that they have a ton of templates to choose from. So you can actually start with sort of a basic layout that works for you and then customize it from there and really make it your own. It's very intuitive, everything just works the way that you think it should. So it doesn't matter what your level of experience is with website design, you can be up and running in no time. Squarespace has really powerful blogging tools. You can categorize the different posts, schedule them to release when you want. You also get a bunch of SEO tools, search engine optimization. Squarespace's tools will help you to land higher on that Google search page. And if you sell anything, Squarespace is definitely the right place to host your website. You can accept payments, you can manage your inventory, if you have a business, you need a website. I highly recommend going to squarespace.com where you can check out a free trial. And then if you're ready to pull the trigger, which I know you will be, go to squarespace.com slash pastagrammer and you will get 10% off your purchase. A big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Chin chin.
Yes, the unforgettable dish was a plate of tomatoes. To be the displays of tomatoes is something that I never tried before in my life. And believe me, I know one or two things about tomatoes. This is called tomate verbo. It is like a fruit and a tomato together. It seems to be to be like an apricot. That place has all the things that make the Mexican food one of the best in the world. The ingredients that make a dish amazing by itself. Thank you guys so much for joining us on our trip to Oaxaca. By the way, if you haven't seen the other video we made in Sonora, Mexico, you can check that out up here. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. Ciao. Uh, hasta luego. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Which means ciao in Spanish. Adios.